This is a representation of an SIDI, Spark Ignited Direct Injection Engine. You can see what it looks like with the components here, the piston with its characteristic bowl and the fuel injector. Now what's interesting to notice here is that the fuel injector is in a side location. What that means is that if the fuel spray was to be symmetrical, it would simply shoot across the cylinder into the opposing wall where it will then impinge and dilute the oil film that lubricates the piston ring causing wear problems. Because of that, direct injection fuel injectors are all spray targeted. The target is always aimed down towards the piston bowl. That ensures that if the fuel was to impinge anywhere, it would impinge on this bowl where it will then ramp up towards the spark plug creating a localized rich region that will aid ignition. All of the nostrum injectors are spray targeted to the specific applications that they're sold for. This ensures that even in very high flow rates, typically seen in high horsepower applications, these injectors are still not causing any impingement and you get factory drivability. Talk a little bit about the KDI fuel injector and how it fundamentally differs from a conventional fuel injector. In every type of fuel injector up until now, the injectors consist in a nozzle with multiple passages drilled in it. These passages result in a pluritude of jets that exit the nozzle and as they travel through the surrounding air they shear and break down into smaller and smaller droplets. This requires a certain distance in order for the jets to break up. What is intrinsically different about the KDI fuel injector is now we have turned these jets towards one another. And as the jets exit, uh, they collide just a few millimeters from the nozzle surface. Upon colliding, the jets then break up. This is called a kinetic breakup mechanism, which is where the name KDI comes from. Because the jets are breaking up upon colliding with one another, they no longer have to travel through the surrounding air to break up. This means much shorter liquid lengths and much better atomization. 